tutorial, we're going to be working with a new tool in Photoshop CS5 called the Mixer Brush. It gives you the flexibility, color mixing abilities, and brush strokes as if you were painting on a physical canvas. The image that you see here includes a palette of four tubes, red, blue, yellow, and green of color, which we're going to use to sample the colors that we're working with. We're going to change settings as we paint different colors, exploring brush tips and wetness options. So we're going to zoom in using our Control Plus or Command, if you're a Mac user, Command Plus. And then we're going to take our eyedropper and we're going to choose some part of the red over here and notice how it, our foreground color changes. Then we want to select the mixer brush which is under the brush tools. It's the last option. And we're going to choose window brush to open the brush panel and we're going to select the first brush that was already selected for us. The effect of the brush is determined by the wet, load, and mix fields up here in the options bar. Wet controls how much paint the brush picks up from the canvas. Load controls how much paint the brush holds when you begin painting. And mix controls the ratio of paint from the canvas and paint from the brush. We're going to select dry. And when we select dry, we paint the opaque color. You cannot mix colors on a dry canvas. So up here in the options bar, we're going to choose dry. We're going to paint the area above the red tube. That first solid red is going to appear. And you'll notice when I continue painting without releasing the mouse, the paint inch eventually fades and runs out. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it's solid. And then I'm continuing to paint and then it's starting to run out. Now we're going to sample the blue color from the blue tube of paint. We're going to use our eyedropper. Go over here and pick part of the blue. We're going to, we have to click back on our mixer brush tool. In the brush panel, we're going to choose one that looks similar to a fan. And now we're going to choose wet up here. And we're going to begin painting above the blue tube. If you notice, the paint mixes with the white background. Next, we're going to go up and choose Dry from the menu of the Options bar. And then we're going to paint again above the blue tube. When you notice I do this, there's a much darker, more opaque blue appears, and it doesn't mix with the white background. So let's choose Dry. Paint a little bit above. The bristles from the fan brush that we selected are much more apparent than the bristles we originally chose. So if you notice changing bristle qualities makes a big difference in the texture that you paint. In the brush panel we're going to decrease the number of bristles. Now previously I closed out of the brush window so I'm going to go to window, brush, and the, it pops back up. I'm going to change the bristle size of our current brush to about 40 or 41 percent. And I'm going to paint a little bit more over here. And if you notice, the, it, there's a little bit of a change in texture. The brush, bristles are much more obvious in the stroke than they were before with the 66%. I'm going to sample yellow, then I'm going to sample green. First, I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to choose a flat point brush. And I'm going to pick up here to paint. I'm going to go up here and choose very wet and paint off to the side. And you can see again that it mixes with the white background. Moving to the green, I'm going to choose my eyedropper, pick a green area. To finish up this particular tutorial, we're going to use green and we're going to pick a flat angled brush. And you notice how it gives the shape name here. We're going to make the thickness at about I'm going to say 81%. And I'm going to begin painting what this particular flat angle brush and very wet option did for us was mix the green with the white background again and this concludes our tutorial but I do want to leave you with a tip for different effects you just need to paint in different directions just remember that with the mixer t brush tool you can go wherever your artistic instincts lead you